Building my first acoustic guitar with Showalter Guitars episode 7. So if you've been following this series so far, you've seen us cut the back, cut it out on the bandsaw, glue it together, brace it, everything like that. The last episode, we ended up bracing everything together and then putting the rim and the back together. So as we jump in today, we are going to, I don't know, we're going to figure out what we're going to do when we go in here to Steve. But this is a deep honor featuring Showalter Guitars. Steve has been amazingly generous to make me do this. Make sure you're subscribed and then also check out Showalter Guitars. But let's go in and see what we're doing in episode seven. Steve! Hey! Hello! Hey, how you doing? Good! Oh, hey! Joyce, what is this? Yeah. Well, this is my guitar so far. It's so fun. <laughs> we have the body put together and so I'm just working at sanding off the glue and all of the tape remnants from uh, when we glued the binding on a few cool. days ago. Cool, man, yeah. that tortoise binding is so yeah. cool. Yeah, I love it. All right, Steve, do you have a thing? Where we, where did we leave last week? Yeah, uh, we finished gluing the back on last week and uh, now we gotta get this top on and you got to sand this on the inside. Okay. Don't forget to sign it. You are with a trait. <laughs> yeah, they're a little furry in here. So we'll sand we'll sand the braces. Didn't you do anything else to the top? As uh, far as sand do I need to sand the flat part? Oh or? yeah. There's a little bit more trimming on um, finishing up the uh, the braces too as okay. far as just uh, shaping them. And, All right. And then, and then, will then we you notch? need to notch down into the sides for the braces to fit down the sides. Okay. That should be a good chunk of work today. glue it on. Yes. That's and we'll glue it on today. Yes. Hey. Okay. Super exciting. All right. Well, that's, that's plenty of work to get into today. So uh, make sure you subscribe and let's get into it. It's acceptable. Uh, if I was doing it, I might would try to clean up a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, like uh, you can scrape some of that shit out and get that glue off. Oh, got it. Uh, this hangs over. Oh, okay. Not that it really matters, but yeah. if you play it, yeah. I don't know. It, I, I never know how how precise to be with the inside, but I, I always try to make it as nice as I can for that. Have you seen, there's a there's a meme that's a, it's like a picture from inside the guitar looking this way. Oh yeah, I and love it. that. Oh, but there, and there's one that says like, the inside of my guitar looks like an apartment I could never <laughs> afford. I have Chris and Driftwood guitars in the back of my mind as I'm going through making sure there's no visible glue anywhere in case Chris borrows this guitar and cuts it in half. Okay, now you are ready to notch it, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. But then the other has less, it has two less, so it's five. Okay. So oh, because the, the base box. Yes. Thank you. 
So I was thinking when I was doing it, 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 it is one of my cowboy things. <laughs> Good, but there's a little gas a little high, so yeah, we need to uh, file down. Up here is where we're having the most trouble there. even getting it in. It wants to... Oh, I got picked on in the video. Somebody said, uh, it's very disrespectful that you, I wiped glue under the bench over here. <laughs> And I said, well, I saw Steve do it, so I just did it. <laughs> it's, it's caked on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. At least it's not boogers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a school bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this carpet, this carpet, too, can also be Watch pulling back, it do it push. more pushing forward because if it, oh, right. if it can splinter out, you'd be pulling it out. But look, this is supposed to, well, it doesn't line up with anything. Okay, I, I, I think maybe you're taking off, uh, just off the front and I might need to do a angle so you get a little bit more off. But no, it's going all the way down, so let's don't do it. It's good. And it's just still a little, a little bit high. There you go. That's it's, how it's good. Now, you blow it all off. That's what I was wondering. And we need sound lines. Yes. Okay. Uh, but, uh, this so yeah, what do you look for when you're tuning a top? Uh, I'm listening for a tonal quality, um, and especially bass yeah. coming out in it. I, I can't tune it to a certain frequency, but I can just listen to a good tone. And do you want it to be about the same pitch as you tap around the top? Uh, no, it's it, it's a little different. Oh, where you tap. Because the other thing, I mean, you have the active, the, the active um, area of the top, which is gonna be all around in this area, where this, tuning this side isn't as critical, at right. least in from, right. from my experience. Mm -hmm. But, all right, so we are glued, we're notched on the rim. I believe it's time to sign it. Sign it? Because we're not going to see the inside after this. Yeah. That's right. Did you see what this is? A circle cover. <laughs> oh, because it's a gavel. That's yeah. funny. That's funny. <laughs>
<laughs> Order in the car. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, 829. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think when I uh, talk to people, I tell people mm -hmm. about you, I sometimes just say, Jerry Shepard, and it's like, I know. Uh, they don't know who I'm talking about. So then I say, Jeremy, the guitar player. Okay. So now on this, this, what we're going to be doing is turning that uh, uh, over, and the top is on here. So and we do it here instead of putting it over here. So oh, the top is down. Yeah. Yeah. That way, if uh, if you get too much glue, uh, it doesn't go running down the side. It just puddles in the bottom. <laughs> All right. So. We're ready to apply the glue. And do you want, well, camera's sake, I guess we could do it over here. We got a box. Yes. Oh man, that's a happy flat. Alrighty, end of day seven. Lots and lots of sanding and lots of gluing here at the very end. So in here is the sandwich of the top, front, back, um, top, back, sides, all glued together, pressed down with this bottle jack up at the top. So, Steve, it's a good day. So what comes next? Well, the rim uh, will be routed, the top and back will be routed off uh, where it sticks over the rim. Yep. And, uh, and then start to apply the binding. All right. Yeah, then start to really look like a guitar. <laughs> Absolutely, this is what, this is the moment where it really feels like a guitar, seeing it together as a box. And when we signed it, I realized, I was like, oh, this is the last time we're gonna get inside. Mm -hmm. Which I also had a thought of, I guess you could put a pickup in at that point, but it would be annoying because it would be in the way. Like, for the rest of the process. Yeah, right. I always do this pickup after the fact. That's true. I just hate dealing with super glue and I love K and K pickups. And so Oh uh, any place to not I'll have to get super glue in my fingers. fingers. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so coming up next and we've sneak peeked, uh, you won't get it, but we have snuck around while the camera's off, figuring out some choices about neck and some of the things that are coming next. Next. Nope. Too dumb. Um, anyway, let's close out this video with Joyce. Hey. So what's happened in the last hour and a half? Well, just sanding and sanding and more sanding. It's true. Um, I'm using this orbital sander and that really helps dig in and it helps do a lot of the work. But for some of the finer um, and more precise sanding, I'm using just, I think it's a, yeah, 180. Um, and so I'm just trying to um, get off all this glue here and just clean it up. So all of this will be sanded off. Um, here's, um, I've mostly been working on the back here. So rounding the binding and just cleaning up this here. So it really hasn't changed since the last time you saw it in the beginning of this video, but hopefully in the next video, we'll have all of the sanding done and maybe the neck even started. Yeah, so man, exciting. that's amazing. Yeah. And some of these details are oh, yeah. so good. I love this lower bow. This is a sycamore veneer, and you can really see this spalted effect starting to come out more, so love it. So exciting. <laughs> cool. All right, everybody, make sure you are subscribed. Check out Showalter Guitars. Link in the description down below. Um, episode seven is done. See ya. Holler in the hills of Appalachia No sir, you wouldn't know the name But it's prettier than heaven And where I'm at the world And where